How many of you have sat in a sales meeting and wished you had just a little more context? Who this company is, what they care about, and how your product fits in. Today you'll see how to build a powerful sales agent that researches prospects, preps you for meetings, and can be customized and built upon to match the needs of your business. You can build any tool for your agent using a prompt. Today we are going to remix the prepare for external meetings tool. Just hit remix and select the project. The first thing you can do is just add your Google account to the Google Calendar node through using OAuth. And we'll open the test panel and give it a natural language search. And we'll hit test. So this flow takes a natural language input and searches your calendar for a date range. It looks for any meetings with email addresses from external domains. We scrape the URL from the external domain and we do a perplexity search and scrape the actual URL to give us some context about the company. And we specify in the prompt the information that we care about. We then summarize the web scrape using OpenAI, which will be sent to Claude through the MCP server so that we can continue to discuss the details. So we see that I have a couple external meetings scheduled for tomorrow. I have one with Zuck at meta.com and it goes into the meeting. It looks in the description and shows that we were looking at simplifying the process for WhatsApp business users to create and deploy bots. And also gives me some context to the company itself. So I can go into my sales meeting really informed. So now that this is working, it's time for the most important step, which is human in the loop. This is where we audit the tool template and update the prompts and configure this into something that really fits for your specific use case in your business. So you can give the instructions detail about your specific job role, a description of your target customer, or a list of demos in your repertoire and ask it to decide which to use based on the company research. You can switch out the platforms, for example, using Claude or Gemini or DeepSeek here, or you could add an additional node to add a row to a Google sheet so you don't have to do the same research twice. Switch out the platforms and integrations for any tool to align with your company's stack. Agents are valuable because they can be highly specific to your business need. This audit is the most important step and the difference between an agent that you'll never use again versus an agent that takes advantage of the biggest benefits of AI and becomes an integral part of your day-to-day -day workflow. When you're ready to use this tool in the real world, go to the Connect tab. We can ship this and we'll select the agent builder that we want to deploy on. We're going to expand this library over time. Make sure you follow the instructions above if you haven't installed Claude Desktop or if you haven't set up MCP on your machine yet. It is pretty easy. Just copy this command, paste it into a terminal and hit enter. And now our tool should be available in Claude Desktop. If you don't get this, Go back to the build guide and follow these steps. Now in Claude, I have a few different tools that I've already added. I'm going to restart and now my new tool is available. So I can ask it to help me prepare for tomorrow's meetings. Sometimes it doesn't use the tool unless you explicitly tell it to do so, but it looks like it will this time. And so we just need to allow it to use this API. So Claude passes the request in with the appropriate variable name and this might take a while because it's running a perplexity search and doing some other summary. This gives me a pretty good understanding of my meetings tomorrow. You can imagine I can ask more specific questions or tailor this to make sure that the types of information that I get about the companies is really aligned with my sales strategy. We can also get some preparation tips or even things like a selection from a list of demos based on that specific company's offerings. So let's fast forward and say that those meetings didn't go so well. They were interested, but couldn't commit. We can create another tool, use this prompt here to research competitors. This should take in a company name and some context and research that company and identify a list of relevant competitors. And then we can understand the name description and some differentiators and their relevance to our sales funnel. I like to use more specifics in my prompt, but you can also give it paragraphs or whatever format you want. Now we can vibe code our next tool. So it takes in our prompt and designs a plan for how we are going to build out that workflow. It's helpful that the plan is in plain English. I can ask it to change anything about the plan. Now is a good time before the workflow is actually generated. And if I'm satisfied, I click start building. It generates the nodes from the built up node library or generates new nodes. And then it maps the inputs and outputs for us. Same thing here, great idea to look through into the instructions and make sure that this is the right prompt for you. So I've remixed the tool, customized it to my specific use case, and then shipped it. I'll add to MCP in the same way. 
After restarting Claude, I see my tool has been added and I can ask it to research competitors from Meta, especially related to their smart glasses. And I'll say to use the tool, just to be specific. We'll allow. It's used the research competitors tool and gotten a response. And now we can discuss that response with Claude. Agents aren't very good at replacing humans, but with tools, they can complete tasks that you couldn't really execute before to give you the information you need to support human decision-making. What will you build? A good place to start is by mapping out your existing daily or weekly processes for your business and identifying where agents could add value. You can also look through our list of community templates and find some ideas of what might work for you. Thanks for your time. Try out BuildShip tools and good luck.